In this video, I'm going to try and cover a few different methods on how you can notch around top plates or actually cut the top plates and strap them. So let's start with our first beam. This will be the notch around the top plates. And don't forget, this could reduce the structural integrity of the beam. And uh, you should watch the previous videos uh, to learn more information about that. Now, this is obviously one way that is used by home builders. And um, if you do do something like this, you should be aware of what you are doing because you can drastically reduce the structural strength of the beam. You might save the top plate connection, but you will ruin the beam. So... However, it might not be the best. Now, here's another method that you can use to tie the beam into the plates, and that would be to install a top plate over the beam. This would give you two advantages. It would basically allow you to tie the beam into the top plates by using the top plate, nailing it into the beam and into the bottom plate on the framing wall and your, your notch out of the beam would be a little smaller. But something like this might not work under every circumstance, especially on the outside. On the exterior of a building, you might be working with rough lumber or a certain design. The top plate might not look that good. Next up on the list would be to do basically the same thing, but avoid cutting the plates on the framing wall and just butt a, another framing plate into it. And you're not gonna get the tie that you want. You're gonna be relying on the pocket. The beam's gonna go into the, into the wall and then nail into the two framing studs on the sides. And of course, uh, you could always use some straps or something like that in a situation like this. But this particular method is going to reduce the framing plate notch. And, and you're going to run into this problem here whenever you're near a corner because uh, you're not going to want to have any framing breaks within four feet of another break. And this might actually create a problem. And again, this might be, this information might be for uh, construction workers with a little more experience, uh, not do-it-yourselfers. Here's another way you can do it, and that would be to notch the bottom plate and run the beam into it. And you would mean you wouldn't be notching the beam at all in a situation like this, but you're back to the situation where you're using the top plates or the framing plates. And again, something like this can create problems with uh, top plates intersecting other walls. Uh, most uh, engineers require a, a strap, some type of a strap, and usually these straps are big, they're four foot long. Um, if you have any framing plate breaks that overlap um, less than four foot apart, so this could be a problem, um, you know, with something like this, just like I mentioned previously in the other, uh, in the other uh, type of method you could use with the framing plates and the beam, of course, notching the beam under the plate instead of cutting the plate. Next up, and probably the most common, would be to simply notch the framing plates, put the beam even, top of the beam even with the top of the plates, and strap it. And again, this is probably the most common, but again, uh, you're going to strap it on the top or on the side. But again, this could uh, create problems for other parts of the building. So, uh, you know, and this is where the planning comes in. We've really got to plan everything we do so that we don't end up with problems. I can't tell you how many times I've seen someone nail a framing plate on the top of something like this, and then the plumber needs to run a pipe up the wall. I mean, it's just, just numerous uh, problems that you could run into without planning something like this planning out the entire project. If possible, this could be the best of both worlds. Uh, again, you would have to put two framing plates on top of this. This would be putting the beam underneath the framing plates. And again, this isn't going to work all the time because you could run into problems with headroom. 
And uh, this is a big problem with beams that aren't going in the floor or in the roof or in the ceiling, I should say, but beams that are underneath. So uh, think about this. You know, if an engineer has a drawing, most engineers don't draw that you're going to be cutting out the plates or anything. They just put the beam in there and you have to figure it out yourself. And for those of you home builders, who uh, have been building homes for quite some time know exactly what I'm talking about. So um, keep in mind headroom whenever you're going to lower a beam uh, for something like this, because something this right here would probably be the best of both worlds. You get the nice, um, you get the framing plates, use the framing plates for a nice tie. And then, of course, you could tie the beam in uh, with some straps if you wanted to or nail it into the top plates, nail down into the beam from the uh, top plate, the bottom top plate, and then put the final top plate over that. So there are a variety of different ways you can get a nice tie with something like this. So anyway, that's it. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, don't forget to watch the previous two videos, and I will put links in all three of the videos to uh, the other uh, three, uh, two videos, I should say. And... Um, off to the next video.